so today we are going to put the crank in and we're going to check our clearances for our oil gap. Okay, I got the thrush washers right here. So these are for B20Z2, uh, okay? These got the bearings here. These are the piston um, rod bearings. And we have our crank bearings right here. And we have a plastic gauge, okay? So we're gonna check it with our plastic gauge. I got some green and I have some yellow in here. So we're gonna see what the difference is between the green and the yellow. And we're gonna do that. But first, we got to clean off the crank right here. These crank journals right here. I have all the stuff in here, the 14 millimeter uh, socket right there, half inch. And I got my torque wrench. Okay, we're gonna figure out what we need to torque this at. And then we got all the journals right there with the bearings in. So we're gonna get the, all those replaced. And there's all the bolts, and we have uh, we have oil right there, so we can put on the um, the bolts when we put them in here and get this set in here. So I'm gonna get this all set up, and I'll see you in a minute. We only have two thrush washers, right here and right there. Okay, on number three cylinder. So this is four, three, two, one. So we only have two thrush washers. This is not a uh, space for a thrush washer right here. So this is, we only have two. So it goes between number four piston and number three piston, okay? So you see how these are right here? Okay, they can only go in one way. So you need that facing out. So that's just going to fit just like this, okay? So you got one there and then we'll do our other side. Okay, so their notches go on the outside and we'll fit our other one in like that, okay? So your thrush washers are in there between number four and number three piston. See, two, one, one, two, three, four, okay? So you got our thrush washers in there, we're all good. All right, so let's get our cam um, covers right here and let's get the bearings replaced on those and then we'll clean up our crank and then we'll do our clearances. All right, so I just did number one here. You can see that it's in there. Okay, the little notch right there and it's flush. So that's number one. Okay, so we're going to do is we're going to do number three right here. Okay, so you got your bearing and just push it right out of there. Okay, push it right out of there. Like that. Okay, so now we got to clean up the inside of the bearing with some brake clean. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll uh, set the bearing in there. So I have the set of bearings here. So we have uh, four left. Okay, because there's five. This is, I think this is the biggest one, which goes on number three. So you have 10 bolts total. So these are the two biggest bolts. Okay, so you got one, two, and three goes there. All right, so we have our uh, bearing journal right here. We got it all cleaned up. Okay, so you have your bearing right here. And you can see... Um, the one has, it'll focus here. There you go. So this one has a notch in it right there. Okay. So this one is going to go in this spot with the, let's see if I can get this to hold up here. There we go. All right. So there you go. So you got the notch right here. You got the notch here. Okay. Just make sure that when you place this in here and push down. That's a little too much. You want it flush. And it's going to it's gonna flush itself once you tighten everything down. Okay. So there we go. Got this one. And this one is number four. Yeah. That one's that one. Okay. And then you got five here and two here. Okay. So we're going to do the next ones. And then we'll set this all up. And uh, we'll clean off the crank. And then we'll be ready to go. I got to put the thrush washers in there. I didn't want them falling out. So we got to put those back in before we uh, before we torque this down and then we have our oil. So I'm going to get this all set up and ready to go. Get the crank in there and then I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we got it all set up. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, thrush washers are there. So once you get your thrush washers in here, right there, you can see that little lip is going to hold 
that thrush washer in place when you put your um, journals on, your cam journals. Okay, so we're good to go. So now we just need to take it off of here. We need to clean the crank and clean the crank um, where it's gonna sit in here. And once we do that, then we'll put our plastic gauge down. We'll set it down and then we'll put our plastic gauge on the actual crank before we put this down. And then we'll torque it down and we should be, uh, we'll get our torque specs and we'll see what our oil clearances is. But you need to do this before you uh, install your crank. You can't just put it in there and put your bearings in there and put your, you know, um, your assembly lube and all that and then torque it down. Because if your clearances are wrong, you're not going to get your oil in this little slot right there. And then they come through, okay? So this is where your oil is going to fill up that little spot right there. And it's going to basically, when your crank turns, your oil goes right through that little space right there. And it fills in. And then it goes through these two little ports here, okay? So same with one two and three and four and five you can see right there that little space between there okay so you want to make sure that your clearances are right because if they're not right and they're too tight you're not going to get oil in your bearing when it's going around and you're going to end up spinning a bearing and that's going to be bad because you're guess what you're going to be back to right here where you're at right now and you don't want to do that after all this hard work after doing all this work to your engine and stuff like that so what like i said you got your smaller bolts here these are going to be your two larger bolts right here and then your smaller bolts and your smaller bolts so you'll have 10 total okay so we're going to oil them up and we're going to put them in here and then we're going to torque them down i got my torque wrench so get ready all right let's do it all right so i put my little plastic gauge underneath these crank right here and these five spots all right got my thrush washers in there you can see one two right there okay so we're good there okay make sure that your crank is where you want it so when you do your um just straight up and down like this because the other side has a hole and you don't want to uh do that side all right so we have our little plastic gauge right here we got one two three four right here so we have a little piece right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place it just like that. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we got five little pieces here. So, so what we're going to be doing is setting these little pieces in here. So I have another one right here. There's another one. All right. So I got five on there. One, two, three four and five all right so now we're going to put our crank journal on and we're going to put it in specific order so we'll take the first one right here which is number five all right so make sure that you can read the number five all right so we're just going to place this just be careful and place that just like just like that okay you don't want to mass move the plastic gauge any i got these all in order so they should be they should be good to go. Yep, five, and then there's number four. All right, four, and then number three, your big one. All right, so we're gonna place this one. Let me try to do this. I'm trying to do this with one hand and trying to videotape at the same time. Okay, so there's three. All right, and then we got number two right here. So we'll place number two in there. All right, like that. There's number two. And then we'll get number one right here. Okay, so make sure you can read the number one and they all face arrows facing the same way. All right, so now we're good. Now we need to get our bolts ready and get some oil on them. And uh, so when you crank these down, your bolts can expand and your oil helps helps it expand with the, with the torque. Okay, so we'll torque this all down and then we'll come back and then we'll uh, take it all apart and then we'll check the clearance. So I got the two biggest bolts in number three here. I got this one and this one. So we're going to put a little bit of oil on the threads, just a little bit. Okay, just thread it up 
and then we'll set it in. So we got those all in there, so they're all ready to go. Top bolts, so these are your biggest bolts. And then you got these, 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 these. So we're gonna do these two, and then 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 we're gonna do these two. Okay, and then the same thing when you torque the second time, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Okay, and then we'll do it again, and we should be good. Leave it set after you torque it. Leave it set for a minute. Let the bet let the bolt stretch a little bit. Okay, so five ten minutes between. Torque it down to twenty five. We're gonna let it set for like five minutes, and then we'll do it again to sixty, and then we'll do it again to seventy six. Is what it says. So we'll do we'll do twenty five. We'll let it set. Then we'll do to sixty. Then we'll let it set. And then we'll do 76 and then we should be good and then we'll take it apart and then we'll see what our gauge tells us our clearances and see if we're in the ballpark if we're good then you can put some assembly lube and reinstall the crank and you're good to go and you don't have to worry about it no more so let's get our torque wrench ready let's do our first 25 foot pounds let's do it we got the torque wrench set to 25, okay? So we're gonna do, just wanna do the first one. Just get it kinda snug, and then we'll get this other one snug, okay? Let's go around in a circle. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. I'm trying to see here, okay? So now we're getting a good torque on it, okay? So now we're gonna get 25 on this one, okay? Right there. All right, so now that they're all torqued down to 76 foot pounds, I let them set between because if you keep doing them like 25, and then you wait a minute, you're done. And then you go back again. You're going to keep tightening and tightening and tightening. You want to let the bolt stretch out a little bit between sets. Okay. So I got my torque, torque bar or my breaker bar with my 14. And now we're just going to take this loose. And I already did that one. <laughs> I already did that one that I decided that I was going to take a video. So do this one. Ugh. Yeah, you see how tight that one was? <laughs> All right. Again, we can do it over here. All right, there we go. That one should be loose. All right. So now I'm going to get the rest of them loose. And when I'm ready, I will, uh, I'll be right back. We'll take off the crank and then we'll see what our clearance is. All right, so now that they're all loose, I got them all loose here. We're going to take the bolts out. So now that we got all five of those out of there, so now what we need to do is get these crank journals loose right here. So we got one, two, three, four, and five to get loose. Be careful when you pull these up, okay? You don't want to disturb that um, plastic gauge that we put down these five places here, okay? And um, we'll check it as soon as we get this off. We'll check it before we pull the crank out. And then I'll check it once I pull the crank out. We got four or five more underneath the crank to check those clearances. And then we should be good. Hopefully we're good. We'll check it. So let's get these out and let's check this. All right, so I got the crank journal off and you can see right here. You see that little white gauge right there, the little plastic gauge. Okay, so we're going to go down the line. Okay, kind of see where we're at. We're almost there. So right there is, right there is about 28. And then right there, you can see, okay, 
So we're at 23, 23 thousandths right there. You can see it match up right there. So we are good. We're between 20 and 23, so we're good. So all the crank, all the crank journals are good. We'll check this one real quick. Make sure this one's good. Okay. Yep. We're good there. And we're good there. And the last one kind of moved a little bit, but we'll see where we're at. Okay. Right there. So we are 23, 23 thousandths. So we are good. So now we need to take off the crank and we need to, uh, measure the other ones underneath make sure those are good if we're good then we can reinstall this crank with some assembly lube and get that all torqued down and we don't have to worry about it anymore so that's how you do it all right well that's just a little video on how to uh, check your oil clearances with the plastic gauge on your crank make sure you do this like i said before you install your crank make sure you do that clean it off real good and then install it with some break-in oil and some assembly lube and stuff like that Make sure you oil those up really good, but we're going to do that in the next video. So if you like this video and it helped you out, please hit the subscribe button, like, and share. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. Check out our Teespring, get some merch, and we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage.